Hey hello friends I am Shubham and in this video I am going to show you how to fix the invalid or no IMEI and can't connect to camera issues in coolpad or in MTK device. So let's start the video. So first you need to download the stock ROM of your device. In my case I have the two ROMs, one is a lollipop and another one is a MM ROM. But I am basing the can't connect to camera issues in the MM ROM. So I am flashing the MM ROM in my device. Here is extracted ROM of uh, image 010 which is the MM origin 010. After that install all the drivers and SV flash tool on your PC and open that SV flash tool folder. Now click on flashtool.exe and run it as administrator. Click on the scatter loading button and choose the scatter file from the extracted ROM. Click on open. And here it is important thing change the download only to format all plus download. So it will first format your all data and then download the ROM on your device. Now connect your phone to the PC and click on the download button. Now it starts to format all the data. It will take some time so I will skip the video. Yep, now it's done, Clear. just close it. Don't flash TWRP or anything, we can do that later. For now, turn on your phone. Now I'm gonna start my mobile, so just play, uh, press the power button. And it will start. So it takes some time for booting, so I will skip the video. Now our phone is booted up after 20 minutes, so let's set up it. Yeah, now the setup is done but uh, as you can see here there is no networks means the no IMEI in our mobile. I will show you by uh, typing one code star hash 06 hash and there is no IMEI. So for fixing IMEI you need to install the MTK engineering mode APK on your device. It is available on the play store and also I give the link of that is in the description and uh, on the back panel of your mobile there is a 2 IMEI. You need to do type that to IMAs in the MTK engineering mode. So for coolpad, this two code will open the MTK engineering mode. Start 20121220 hash. Now uh, scroll down and is option MTK engineering mode. Open that. Swipe it and here is option CDS information. Click on that. Radio information. And uh, for fixing the first time A, click on phone 1 and uh, type uh, E here. So it will give option choose first one and type the IMA is in the double inverted comma. So it's in the back of your phone. So now I am typed. Now give the space after the 80. Otherwise, you will get the error. And now just click on send AT command. So it will uh, give the pop up as AT command is sent. Means our first time is successfully installed. Now click on the phone 2. Click E and uh, choose the second one. Now the time uh, type the IMA. Second IMA. And give the space up to 80. Now click on send AT command. Now AT command is sent. Now both IMAs are set. Now uh, just reboot your device. Choose the option reboot and click on OK button. After rebooting your device, you can see uh, the our network is comes means the IMA is uh, fixed. Now type in the dial pad star hash 06 hash for checking the IMA. as you can see here our IMA is fixed now we need to stop the MTK logger this is only for the coolpad users so just keep it star hash 9527 star hash click on the DM and the default password is 54321 and I click OK OK close exit and uh, open the file manager this is only for coolpad devices so don't try it on other devices it's not work 
just delete that empty lock file and now check the camera whether the camera is works or not and our camera is working fine if you want the TWRP recorder on your device then follow this method click on scatter loading button and choose the scatter loading file which is in the outside now choose the recovery partition and uh, choose your TWRP recovery click on open now click on download option and connect your phone to the PC it can do it very fastly now close it and uh, open your phone in the recovery mode open your phone into the recovery mode by pressing the power plus volume up button in coolpad devices so it will open the TWRP recovery now click on the cancel button just swipe to all the modifications click on the wipe advanced wipe repair or change file system sorry select the partition data and then repair or change file system change file system and change it to the ext4 and swipe to change so it will format all the data of uh, your device because due to the formatted data in the SV flash tool it will flash uh, formatted with the mmc format so you need to change the format if you want to flash any rom then you can uh, flash it otherwise reboot the system so thanks for watching my video and do like share and subscribe for more videos